Hi, and welcome to the first episode of That Atheist Chick. My name is Lolly, and each week I'm going to be bringing you different topics out of the news and discussing why the hell you should be angry about this. So this week we're going to talk about the um, recent Robin Hood robbery of the mega church run by Joel Olstein in Texas. And I call it a Robin Hood robbery because I'm hoping whoever stole the money actually does something good with it versus whatever the hell the church would have done with it by some new projectors or something. So I want to just look at the numbers and I wanted you guys to think about this as, um, as we're looking at the numbers. Churches are currently tax exempt. Okay. So we're going to look at how much one mega church, which is a church of 2,000 or more members, brings in in a single weekend. 600,000, and that was just an actual cash and check donations. No digital donations are included in that. And we're in a digital age. So you know they're pulling in more cash than that. So 600,000 times 52 weekends a year. Ouch. That's one church, and that's simply an average out of their cash offerings. So, next step. In America, there are approximately 1,600 megachurches. So, ouch. Does anybody else's tummy hurt when you look at that number? That's astonishing. That is the taxable income of just the megachurches in America right now. Wow. If you take into account other churches, which is all other churches, which are all other churches with under 2,000 members, you're looking at a total of 71 billion, billion, billion with a B, billion dollars that would be generated in revenue for our economy and to help those in need because apparently the churches aren't doing it. So we have just this tiny little tidbit of, of what was it? Fifty million dollars that they're raking in and as you know homelessness is quite an issue in America not only for those that have mental issues or physical handicaps but also for many of our veterans who have not been able to get the help that they needed when they returned home to eradicate homelessness in America would cost 20 billion dollars 20 billion with a B billion that's like this much of our military budget. So we know the government isn't going to do it. Therefore, we're relying on those who are supposed to be following in Christ's footsteps to do it. And they're not. They're lining their pockets. They're buying their way onto the bestsellers list. Google that one. Um, building their, again, their mega churches and their beautifully landscaped lawns which don't have any gardens and their amazing open spaces inside with dozens of, of conference rooms and meeting rooms and worship spaces and tons of offices that could easily serve as medical offices, dental offices, vision offices, any type of health care for those that are uninsured or can't afford it. Maybe in all of those mega kitchens where they have those mega potlucks, they could be using those as soup kitchens the other six and a half days a week that they're not utilized. So, yeah, $600,000 in two days, one church. Now that that's out, I really hope everybody's doing the math on this and realizing we're totally getting dicked in the process. Churches are untaxed. They have unlimited income. The Pope, the Papal See, the whole Catholic monster is just the richest entity in the world. They alone could eradicate all homelessness, all hunger in the entire world. Amazing. Totally so godly that they don't do that. But yeah, think about the numbers. Think about what you do with your cash and what you're doing with your life. And if you have $20 to spend, don't drop it in the offering plate. Go out. Buy some groceries, buy some socks, and hand it off to that person under the overpass. Because Tulsa is full of them. Too bad John 316 spent all their money on those damn billboards.